Hello Scorpio, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of September 3rd through the 10th, 2018. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio weekly love reading for September 3rd through the 10th, 2018. Scorpio, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So it seems like somebody is thinking about leaving a situation, okay? And the situation is a, a back and forth situation. Somebody doesn't want to deal with it anymore, okay? All right. So future fortune card, um, fake card. So it seems like things are happening exactly the way they're supposed to happen. And they are uh, pushing to a better future for you, okay? So it's basically like a acceptance card. Like accept it and, and move on. I know it's easier said than done, though. Look, it's basically saying you might have just broke free from a situation. And it is, is, is better for you. Scorpio. Alright, yeah, so it seems like the situation you broke free from was emotionally exhausting, okay? You couldn't deal with it anymore. Let's see what this exhausting card is. And it seems like somebody was trying to make you feel like you were a nuisance to them as well, okay? What's going on? What is this air card reverse for the Scorpio? Okay, so it seems like you were sick of the back and forth. Okay, and I feel like the person that you're dealing with, they they felt like you were a nuisance and that's why they were leaving, you know? And then it's just like, okay, I'll, I'm done with this. Like, you leave, I won't be here. You come back, I won't be here. Okay, somebody came back and you wasn't there. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so... This makes me feel like there was some stalking going on, but for the most part, it was just like uh, no privacy. Okay, so I feel like this person felt like you were a nuisance, but they wanted to know what you was doing and where you were going and what was going on with you all the time. Okay, or this person, that was their issue with you. You wanted to know too much, you know, you cared too much. Which somebody, some people just can't take that, okay? Yeah, you need somebody that likes to be cared for. Scorpio. Okay, yes. So, yeah, it seems like you moved out, moved back, or this person moved out, okay? But I feel like this person moved back somewhere, like maybe back with their parents or family members or back to their hometown or something. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, yeah, so it seems like you were dealing with someone who was not able to open up their heart. Let's see why. What is this vulnerability reversed? What is this closed heart about for the Scorpio? Okay, so yeah, it seems like somebody closed their heart here because... It was just too many burdens, but let's see what these burdens were about. Okay, so it seems like this person just wanted too much from you, okay? This could be material. This could, I think it's just like one person was material and the other person was emotional, okay? And I feel like you guys just wanted too much when, when it comes to those from each other. Like your partner wanted too much um. um too many things and you wanted too many emotions okay all right 
So right now, it seems like you might be blaming it on yourself a little bit. You trying to make it. You're not trying to, but it's seeming like it's your fault. But in reality, it's just like oil and water. You guys just wasn't supposed to be there. And that's that fake card at the beginning. Okay, so it's not you. It's not you at all. Everybody isn't for everybody. All right, let's see what's going on for this Scorpio. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, so it seems like somebody's getting ready to... Um, mentally leave a situation and I feel like they're getting ready to sign some kind of contracts or possibly uh, get married so you could have probably left someone and as soon as you freed your mind and what or as soon as you do free your mind and get ready for someone else I see marriage or some kind of contract coming for you all right of course it's gonna take you you got to be strong to do this you know because it's, it's hard to get over someone when they so different from you they make you question yourself okay oh gosh i don't know if i cut the cards but i'm going to do it what's going on what's going on what's going on scorpio 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 all right all right new beginnings Fresh starts, okay? Leaps of faith, just do it. All right, yes, yeah, so it seems like somebody feels like that they have no choice but to make a, a, a new start, which I can definitely understand that. All right, okay, so we got... Okay, so it seems like, of course, it's going to be hard work. You got a choice that you feel like you had no choice but to make, and that that's to make a new start. So let's see what this new start is about. Give me one card, please. One card for the fool. What is this new start about? All right. Ooh. Okay. This makes me feel like you might have had to leave a situation because of some kind of just a negative in, in, environment, okay? It could have been like name calling or some kind of um, addictions going on here, but it seems like some kind of abuse. I feel like it pushed you to go start over new, okay? All right, what is this seven of... Cups reversed about one card, please, for the Scorpio. All right, so it seems like uh, you're going to get, you're going to do more and you're going to be more once you leave this situation. I feel like there's a lot more material uh, happiness and um, financial, or I guess financial happiness is material happiness, but I do feel like you may be getting a new home or just new objects, things from this situation. Okay. You have no choice but to start over new and get new things. And I do feel like these new things that you're getting ready to acquire are definitely going to be um, helpful to your healing. Okay. All right. Let's see what this seven of pinnacles. One card, please, for the seven of pinnacles for... The Scorpio. All right. Okay. Okay. So seems like, of course, something is um being hidden, but it's getting ready to be revealed. First thing I thought to is this person doesn't know you're leaving or or not letting them come back. Okay. So it seems like that's definitely going to be a surprise. Somebody is working for that. And I feel like just out of the blue, they are going to be gone. All right, but let me see one more card for this high priestess. Give me one card for the high priestess for the Scorpio. All right. So we got three sevens here. So it seems like you're very emotional here. Um, I feel like 
you're working on financial gain and then you just like don't want know what well you know what to do about your choices but you don't feel like they're right okay but it seems like you are fighting hard to try to change what's going on and try to move from this situation okay but when you starting a new start that is definitely hard okay but i still feel like i need one card for this all right one more card what is this secret about? Okay, yeah, so it seems like, wow. It, yeah, it seems like you're secretly leaving because you don't want the argument. You don't want the uh, confrontation. Okay, and you're working hard for this. And you're, the uh, emotional part about this situation, um, this relationship is disappearing. Okay, that's going away, but it seems like your passion to 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 move forward with your life is taking over. Okay, and you just building new things and just waiting for it to come out. But I feel like whenever you get yourself set, it's it's this is done. Okay, so we got the four of swords reversed here. So when I see the four of swords, I feel like someone feels like a situation is unrecoverable okay but i feel like in the end you know nothing else to worry about no more anxiety you know not being uh mentally on on a chopping block all the time so i do feel like this fresh new beginning is going to be great for you but of course every relationship when you first leave it is going to be hard okay but th good things are coming but keep doing what you're doing and keep working hard all right but that's all i have for you guys Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, thanks for watching.